Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> do you want to do it? No, you go ahead. Oh, okay. Do you, do you, you see, when, we, when it's scripted, we're so good. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Because <laughs> it starts. Yeah. So Nina's yin, okay. and then I'm back. Hello. They are the yin to each other's yang. They are. I like my yang, but I like it better when your yin is next to it. <laughs> now, you all have not been shy in asking some of your most burning questions. And the sensational news is, we have some answers. <laughs> Yeah. Do you have a favourite episode from the new season or moment slash scene? If it's not too much of a spoiler to share. Well, I have a favourite. I have a favourite line from season two. Do you? Yeah. It's in. It's in episode two. Yeah. And the line is. I am Jemima. I made this pot. <laughs> Yes. That's my favourite line yeah. from season two. Oh my goodness, yeah. I don't know what's wrong I'm allowed to say. Ooh. Can I just have a <laughs> quick whisper and see if I'm allowed to say that? My favourite moment is when I get to do magic. Yes, it's the magic so, show you, you, is. You're the only person for whom that's the best moment. Yeah. And that's why I love it so much. Yeah. Because it is it is a zero fail at his happiest. Mm. And yet at his most nervous as well, possibly. Which is the big challenge for any actor to say in that role. And that is why Neil entrusted that character to me. Oh, anyway, I know. So, oh, I'm not very good over. at this. We'll pass it on. This is a, it's a quick check. There was also a, a quite a sort of action-y kind <gasps> of yes, there for, was. for the two of us. Yeah. Um, involving some very well-aimed items from Maggie here. <sighs> I, guys, um, I've never been good at sport. And I was so... I was so good at <laughs> she was really good. A fire extinguisher <laughs> on a stuntman's head every single time. Every single time. And it bounced off at a particularly <gasps> pleasing angle. So satisfying. Yeah. yeah, we did. We were superheroes in that moment. Yeah, just for a little bit. Cool. Mm. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to say that. But I mean, the interest now. Ooh, <laughs> it's going to kill you. <laughs> that, that scene. When you watch, you're going to say, which was the one she was doing? <laughs> yeah. Michael. Yes. What do you think is Aziraphale's favourite thing about Crowley? Um, it's the fact that when we're acting, yeah. I can see myself in your eyes. Oh, that's, yeah, that makes sense. That sounds and I don't right. mean that in a deep philosophical <laughs> sense. I can literally see myself. Uh, no, Crowley's favourite thing about Aziraphale, I think, is probably the same thing that is his, uh, the most annoying thing about Crowley for Aziraphale, which is his constant questioning, his constant rule-breaking and bending the rules and not doing things by the book. Mm. And that really annoys him, but over time... It's what has drawn him to Crowley. What's Crowley's favourite thing about a zero Oh, funny you should ask that. It's very, I'm going to give a very similar answer to you. It's the things that infuriate him and also draw him to him. It's his openness. It's his consistency. It's his kind-heartedness. Drives Crowley up the wall, and yet he is inexorably drawn to it. They are, they are the yin to each other's yang. They are. I like my yang, but I like it better when your yin is next <laughs> What is your favourite fun fact that you like about your character? What's, what's your favourite fun fact? OK, I love that we get l a little smattering of, of history, of the legacy of the shop. So the small back oh, room yeah. has been handed down from my great-grandmother, my yeah. cool great-grandmother cool in the 1920s. I like that I can manifest any change of clothes, change of hairstyle, change of facial hair. Uh, I can do all that in the blink of an eye, mm. but I can never get rid of the eyes. <laughs> Stuck with them. Stuck with those. Whatever happens. Those lovelies. My favourite fun fact, I think, is that uh, is, is Aziraphale's endless enthusiasm for his amateur occupations, like magic mm. and, like, dancing, particularly the gavotte. Yeah. How much joy he gets from that, I, I find very pleasant <laughs> and satisfying. We all enjoy that. We do enjoy it. What was it like to play characters of the same name? Was it weird? It was weird. Yeah, it, it was, was weird <laughs> to play characters of the same name. Because yeah. you don't hear yourself, you don't hear your name so often said on set. That's the thing. When you're at work, it's it's your sort of, you're it's in character. It's a different character, name. And it's your character on the trailer. Yes. And, but there was just Maggie everywhere. So everything sort of belongs to us, though. So you <laughs> get your water bottle and your trailer and it's got your own name on it. What is mine? Yeah, that was quite fun. I, yeah. I did feel a bit like a competition when I then going, oh, I've just got personalised things now. This is cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If either Crowley or Aziraphale could get a pet, what animal would they choose? Well, hands down, Harry the rabbit. Oh, yes, of course. You <laughs> have a pet. Yes. Yeah. It would be the rabbit. And um, for Crowley, it would be a yucca plant. Does that count as a pet? a pet? Well, that is a pet. For Crowley, that's a pet. What's your favourite behind-the-scenes moment stroke blooper? Right. When we get... I'm going to use the word splooshed. 
Thank you. With water. And then we, lots of people came to, to watch us, including one Mr. David Tennant, don't know if you've heard of him, lovely man, very good actor. He tried to take a slow-mo video of the water sploosh moment, but the little puppet pressed the slow-mo, do you remember this? He pressed the slow-mo button just at the wrong moment. So the sploosh happens, and then you've got this accidentally beautiful slow-mo ballet of just people <laughs> just walking about afterwards. <laughs> That's it. But, but I love that he was Not there. a director or a camera <laughs> operator, obviously. Just as well. He's a very good actor, Great isn't he? Actor. Yeah. But absolutely, absolutely brilliant. And I loved his enthusiasm for the moment. And yeah. just cheerleading us on from the sides. I do remember one day I couldn't click my fingers. It was like, what's happened to my click? It's like I needed a miracle to... <clears throat> like, no sound came out at all. So I feel like we did have to go a few times for that. And then we were sort of like, eventually, hang on a minute, surely we can do that in post. <laughs> I mean, we ran a very tight ship. Tight, tight, There was tight, no tight. messing We're around on that set. No blipping where we are. Apart from the time I made David do the special mm. dance that he does. Yeah. Um, which, you know, fair play to him. He did over and over again, and it was not easy for him. But he did it, and then I... Well, wasn't, that wasn't difficult for me. Well, you made it look difficult. Um, but then I got him to do it one more time with him thinking that we were filming another take, but it was just so I could hi hold up scorecards at the end of it yeah. and go, seven! <laughs> so I wanted to know what happened to my character. I thought maybe a script editor would ring. Instead, Neil rang, which was very exciting. And he said, well, all I can tell you is that in heaven, your wheelchair flies, and on earth, whenever something is inaccessible, you will, there will be a miracle and it will become accessible and I could have cried. Mm. I squealed and that was it. He had me at flying wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> what did you learn from working with each other? I think I probably learned that if, um, if you're pleasant to people, people like you a lot more, which weirdly I'd not learned before. <laughs> Well, you're doing very well. Thank you very much. Because <laughs> you're a very nice man. Oh, so are you, putting yourself down. Yeah. He's level with me. <laughs> Watch Good Omens out now on Prime Video.